I seriously cannot believe that it is almost back to school time. Now, my kids go back to school next week. Maybe your kids are already back or maybe they're coming back at the end of the month. But either which way, I'm here with some of my best tips, my best tricks to make this your best, your healthiest, your greatest school year ever. And I can't wait to share my tips with you. Now, if you have a tip, I wanna hear in the comments, what's your best tip for a great school year? What do you like the best? What do you use? What are some of your routines? Those things will help us all to become better at this whole parenting thing. So let's dive right in and let's chat a little bit about what you can do this school year uh, whether you are a teacher, and we're going to do something special just for the teachers here next week. But for those of you who are sending kids off to school, here are some really great ideas to set the school year off with a great start. So back to school time, you're already making some new habits, you're already making some new routines. This is a fantastic time to start making some new healthy habits and new healthy routines with your kids. And honestly, Now's the time to start making these things happen. Now's the time to grab these things. Now's the time to pull these things out from last year to be ready so that when your kids go back to school, right away you're in the new routine, you're all doing all the healthy things that you can to make it a great year. And so here are my top products and routine ideas to make this year great for you. So if you've got something to add, go ahead and drop me something in the comments. We can chat there. I cannot wait to hear what you guys do. So at breakfast, there are two supplements that we use all the time. Now, especially as we go into the season where whether you homeschool like we do or you are sending your kids off to school, school year is all about time with other kids. So whether your kids are hopping on the school bus in the morning or your bus or driving them in, or your kids are headed to uh, soccer or dance or music lessons, all these things start up this time of year and your kids will be around lots of other kids, which is why it's so key to do some of these routines. So the top two supplements that I like for breakfast time for my kids during the school year are now we have this new uh, probiotic powder called Mighty Pro. We didn't have it before, so we've seen some really great stuff with it since we got it this summer. So it's going on my list of must-haves for the fall and the Super C chewable tablets. So why those two supplements? Well, the Mighty Pro is a, a, a probiotic powder that is naturally sweetened with xylitol, not sugar, because sugar actually can drop your immune system, make it less effective, and make you vulnerable. So that's why we don't use sugar to sweeten things. We want to help our immune systems do great, so we don't want to sabotage them with sugar. So Mighty Pro is a probiotic capsule, not capsule, packet, that has 8 million uh, colony forming units. So there's 8 million little probiotic doodad guys uh, in this. And it is so good for digestive health, for your child's gut health, and for their immune system. In fact, people have found, not people, but studies have found that children who have proper immune and gut support miss less days of school, less days of daycare, meaning that they are up and at it and doing their fun kid stuff instead of doing things that are less fun. So Mighty Pro is a must do on the school year time, especially supplement for us. Now Super C is a chewable vitamin C tablet uh, and you can get it. It's really good for kids because it's food-based vitamin C. And we all know that vitamin C is a powerful nutritive antioxidant that actually helps to support our immune system. So we're kind of going at the immune thing from two standpoints, meaning that we have this, uh, this food-based and we have this probiotic-based. And it's really, really good to get uh, multi-dimensional support. So next... Uh, what we like to do is to oil up. So if your kids have uh, back to school jitters, maybe they are going to a new school, maybe uh, this is their first uh, time in this grade, uh, it probably is their first time in this new grade, but maybe they're in a new, uh, with a new teacher or some new kids, maybe they have been going to the same class with the same kids for many, many years and now they've had to switch. 
there's a lot of reasons for kids to have a little bit of tension before the first day of school. So my top two oils to recommend to use either in the diffuser the night before or to apply to them the day of is Valor and Peace and Calming. Both have really comforting aromas. Kids seem to really respond very well emotionally to them. So they are top on my list. Now, what else is a good idea before everybody goes? The Thieves lineup. So getting Thieves essential oil on yourself every day during the school year is a great routine. It's a great idea. And the Thieves lineup makes it really easy. And so the Thieves lineup is this. Everybody lines up at the front door with their shoes and socks off. And mom goes down with a roller bottle where they where you've mixed some Thieves essential oil and some uh, carrier oil and put a roller top on it. And you go down the line giving everyone a swipe down each foot with your diluted uh, Thieves essential oil. It is a great routine to get started with every single day and I think you will be glad that you did. Uh, then everybody puts their shoes and socks on and heads out the door with their stuff. Let's talk a little bit about lunchbox goodness. So every day we send our kids with a lunch or we send them to buy lunch, um, but what do we send with them? And one of the things that most parents aren't aware of is that things that contain sugar, things like sugary juice boxes or juice pouches can often actually negatively impact our children, both causing them to feel very, very amped up when they have the sugar and then have a sugar crash afterwards. Also, sugar, as I mentioned before, actually can uh, negatively influence your uh, immune system, causing it to work less efficiently. So we don't want to do that when we're sending kids to be in school uh, around other kids because we want them to stay healthy. So what's my solution? So one of the things that we like to do, because while we're homeschooled, we do go out and we travel and we go do things an awful lot and we like to pack lunches when we take them with us. The easiest thing to do to replace that sugary juice box is to grab the Ningxia Red Packets and just toss a Ningxia Red Packet from the freezer. You can put keep them in the freezer and toss them into their lunch bag uh, and it will thaw by the time it is their lunchtime and they'll get to have a nice, cool, sweet drink that actually helps to uh, boost and improve the function, maintain the function of their immune system instead of going and causing it to uh, become depressed by it containing sugar. So. I have yet to meet a kid who didn't think that Ningxia Red was awesome. It's in a little packet, so it's like a juice box. And if you really want to, you can toss a straw in to their lunchbox with it so they can drink it with a straw. But my kids just drink it straight from the packet. So Ningxia Red is a great alternative to sugary juices in your child's lunch. Now, let's talk a little bit about essential oils at school. Now, some parents are able to send their kids with oils and it is exceptionally easy, they have no problem, and for you guys, thank your lucky stars because you guys are blessed. The vast majority of school districts do not allow kids to bring oils with them, like you couldn't send them with a bottle of their favorite oil. Uh, they would consider that to be something that they aren't allowed to keep with them. However, here are a few ideas. If your kid has an oil that helps to focus them, to uh, center them, help them to feel like they're in a good space, uh, then there are some ways that you can help them to be able to get the benefits of the oils while still obeying the rules in your school district. So here are a few good ideas. Idea number one is diffuser jewelry. So it's really easy to find. You can hop on Amazon pretty much any day of the week and find diffuser jewelry that's both effective and cost effective. So my favorite suggestion for little kids is a diffuser bracelet or for older girls uh, or guys, a diffuser necklace. So the best type of diffuser bracelet that I've found for kids is a braided leather diffuser bracelet. And you can usually get them for really, really inexpensive. And all you do is add one or two drops of oil to the inside of that bracelet and they're able to smell it all the rest of the day on their wrist. Another really good suggestion if diffuser jewelry is not really your kid's speed or maybe you think they're too young for it, or if your kid is very fashion conscious and they can't find the perfect piece of diffuser jewelry, it is also a really cool idea too to grab a nasal inhaler. So you can get empty nasal inhalers off of Amazon. Usually you can get about a 12 pack for under $10. 
uh, you unscrew the lid and there's a little wick inside of it where you can add 10 to 15 drops of oil, even less if you want. Uh, just adding more drops makes the aroma last longer for, before you have to rechange it. And then you just put it onto that little wick, you put the wick in it, you snap it shut, and then you have it, just label it. And then your child can keep it in their locker, in their backpack, or uh, you know, keep it in a pocket, in their desk, or whatever. That's a really good way to make it so that your kids can get the benefits of the oils, not break the rules of whatever your school district's rules are, and be respectful of other kids. Because sometimes other kids, you know, maybe it's not their thing, or they think that they don't want to smell it, and that's okay. And we want to be respectful and still be able to get what we need out of it. Okay, so let's talk about one last good tip and then we'll close it out and then I want to hear what you guys do for back to school. I want to hear do you have kids going back to school? Are you excited? Are you ready for them to be <laughs> to be at school? Are you excited to be back to homeschooling? How are you feeling about this whole back to school thing? Uh, if you're sending off a kid to college this year my heart goes out to you. I know that's going to be one of those heartbreaking but very poignant moments um, but it is it is so amazing. I was looking back. Uh, I went to college myself. I looked on Facebook. I had a Facebook memory. I don't think that I actually had Facebook when this happened, um, but I think I put the memory in at a later date. But I actually went to college 19 years ago, I think on Monday. So I, I look back at that and I, I feel for you parents who are sending kids off to college this week. Uh, but when we are having homework time, so even in homeschool, we do have homework time and we like to run the diffuser during school time anyway, but homework time, study time is the perfect time for diffuser time. So just like you do the thieves swipe on the feet before they head out the door, it's a great idea to use thieves in the diffuser. Uh, if you need some extra help with some focus, maybe helping them get down to business, you may wanna use an oil like Genius or brain power, or an, uh, an oil that has a really awakening aroma, something like lemon and peppermint in the diffuser. They're both really good together. You can do them separately, but they tend to really kind of awaken the senses. And sometimes after a long day at school, awakening the senses is just the ticket. So I hope that you have learned some interesting and helpful tips for going back to school this year, whether you're sending a student or you're a teacher or you love a student or a teacher. A lot of these tips can be helpful for everyone who's going to find themselves going back to school in the next couple weeks. So let's chat in the comments. I can't wait to chat with you there. See you then.